but the force is acting as if it's acting only on a position which is the center of mass. So the force of action on a rigid bodies is treated as if it's acting on the center of mass. Another thing, the last thing which is important, important note. I will write it down. It is very much important. Keep that in mind. The second law of motion, the second law, sorry what I wrote, the second law of motion is a local relation. Is a local relation. What does that mean? F, if I am acting a force F, F at a point in space at a certain instant of time instant of time is related to acceleration acceleration at that instant of time at that instant only okay at that instant of time what does that mean for example if i am having a body here if it possesses some acceleration a that means at that instant of time only the force is exerted by it later on here if some acceleration is over onto this point on this body it is not this very force which is acting on it it is some other force because this acceleration this classical body in classical mechanics bodies does not remember its past whatever the force is it is determined by the acceleration which is possessed at by the body at that instant of time not later on not before that at that instant of time so the history history of motion of a particle of a particle is I can say it does not matter does not matter that is the history of motion does not indicate anything about the force possessed by the force exerted on the body for example if at this very instant if is if it is possessing some velocity v okay and on the first place if it is accelerated by some body by some force accelerated to some by some uh, acceleration a and further in the time later on it will be possessing some velocity v because at that time force is absent but that at that instant of time we can't say that this body was exerted once upon a time by some force because it does not remember anything from its past so this body does not say anything about its force exerted in the past history it only says that i am possessing this much of velocity here or if it is exerted by some acceleration if it is possesses some acceleration at this instant of time the force exerted by an external agency will be determined at that instant only not this very instant not in the past so this force dies out as the time passes this force is indicating that acceleration is there in this instant of time not later on not before that so that means what does that mean acceleration acceleration here and now that means space here space here and now at any instant of time now acceleration here and now is determined is determined by force here and now not before that not after that okay that means for any body 
for anybody if we want to know the acceleration of that very body a acceleration we have to know about we have to be known about the force which is acting upon that very body but at that time at that time not after that because if we calculate here if we try to calculate here the uh, force exerted upon the body that will not be given by any factor because the particle does not remember the history okay history doesn't matter at all because it forgets everything here what matters is that instant of time at that point of space where the acceleration is caused the force is determined at that instant of time so that means acceleration here and now is determined by the force here and now fine so this is all about the second law of motion which was given by the newton and other kind of stuff the like uh, third law of motion the impulse and other stuff which is important in the classical mechanics will be dealt in the upcoming classes so support the channel and do cooperate with the school of physics understand universe i will see you in the next